We'll record. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're going to get it running a little bit. We're going to take our time so in case more members of the community come in. Um, first of all, just an outline. What we're going to talk about is, is, is first of all, introduction. And now we're done. Uh, project overview. Um, I think I think most of you know what we're doing here, but just to give you an overview, talk about funding. That's a, that's a really important and exciting component of our project. Um, our project update, where we are in construction and things that that matter. Um, owner access agreements. That's going to be a very critical component of our conversation. Uh, project schedule, and then kind of setting the tone for what you may see. Um, during construction, kind of setting expectations, because it's, it's going to be sandy and muddy, but I, I got some goals for you. And then we'll go for answers and questions. So from an introduction perspective, I, I really want to give our community outreach folks some credit here. Um, Matt, John, these, these guys are the ones that, and the other John and Gary, Wherever Gary is, Outside. they're the folks that, that organized the reverse 911 calls, put, put flyers on your door. So these guys really wanted to have you sitting in those pews so you could understand what we're doing. Also, we have Dana, our IT guy. We have our, re our statewide operations manager. We have our regional manager. And we have an engineer in the background, Bill Lynch. And then we have our other other folks, and I don't see Gary, but um, we have our inspector here that's going to be inspecting your project. If you don't mind. So um, just to understand why it's so important and how we've got the funding, your community is an, an area called a primary focus area. So you have this beautiful river out there that's needing to be protected. And so that's that's what's driving the funding, the project, and the enhancement in your community. So funding update. This is the fun part. This is actually the awesome part. So originally, you, you got a $3.7 million grant. And with the market, we, we can't build the entire project with 3.7. So this man right here, he went out and he got Another seven and a half million dollars. So in that regard, um, I know there's been some trepidation about what part of your community is going to be taken care of and the septic tanks abandoned. Your entire community is going to see your septic tanks abandoned, laterals to your house, and a central sewer in the middle of the road. If you don't mind, I'll Thank you so much. So. Um, just a little, you, I think you all know this, you got 210 lots, um, X number of feet of linear gravity sewer. When I say gravity sewer, that's just in the streets. Um, one new lift station, it's tucked away, it's going to be tucked away way over the corner. Um, force main, it's, it's going to go down the street to the manhole right behind the pizza bar. Um, and then abandoned, this is an important one. It's, sorry, it's a little truncated here because but abandonment of your existing septic tanks and then laterals to your house. So, so all that's taken care of. So project overview for phase one. So phase one is where we had a $3.7 million. So we, had to, we had to cut it down. I think 109th Lane is where we, where we stopped. And then, did you go up? No. That's okay. So our contract, our contractor is commercial uh, industry company. Um, so far, they've been really good. They've been really responsive to the administration portion of the project. Um, our permits have been issued, right away permits, construction permits. We actually had a tortoise survey, which is uh, on other projects, it's, it's quite um, challenging to do so, go, go for tortoises. Um, we had a notice to proceed in January, 
Um, we intended to mobilize in March, but because of some administrative stuff, we're going to mobilize in April. That doesn't mean we're behind. That just means that you'll start seeing work occur in April. And it's going to start from the lift station over, over in that corner, because you always want to build uphill when you do sewers. So we're going to build from, from the lift station and then go to the north and then the force main. Um, so phase two, or uh, this is actually phase one, one A and one B. I apologize. So we got 44 houses, X number linear foot collection system. Um, we apologize about it skipping. What we're going to do is we're going to leave this running for anybody that comes in late. So that's why that's why it's moving the way it is. So the new pump station we talked about that. <laughs> We and then we talked about one thing that we're also going to do to escalate the value of your homes and your community. We're not only bringing you sewer, central sewer, we're putting out lots, um, stub outs for empty lots. So the entire community value is going to increase. Future basis. This is exciting part again, $7.5 million. $7.5 million. So we, we're going to take phase one and then we're going to, we, we got an amendment to your grant. So there was the first grant and instead of doing a separate grant, FDEP decided to give us an amendment. So that gives us some liberty and some, some opportunity to speed up how we assign this, the future portions. Um, so the future portions got 800, I'm oh, sorry, eight, 82 lots. Um, external linear field of gravity sewer so collection again that's that's in the middle of the road um, we've got roadway restoration so I, I'm going to be real clear right here we're going under our project we're going to if it's a dirt road we go back to dirt road if it's asphalt we go back to asphalt however in concert and in coordination with the county the county will be providing paved roads. So you're getting central sewer, you're getting paved roads, and you just imagine the impact on your property value. Um, again, this is the, the future phases is pretty similar in scope. We're decommissioning septic tanks, putting in sewer laterals. So this is this is one of the main reasons we're here. We we really need to get access agreements. And, and I know that some folks provided access agreements before, but what we need to do, and it's over here, and you guys can look, the access agreements have expiration dates. And the previous access agreement that was provided had an expiration date of 2022. So now we need to do new expiration, I'm sorry, a new access agreement. From an access agreement perspective for phase one, we've largely got them. There's a couple houses we haven't gotten. And this is this is a couple weeks old, so I've got a couple more that have been taken care of. But for phase one, there are some outstanding agreements that we need. And it, that agreement, what it does, so we can do all the work in the right-of-way, in the street. We've gotten that right-of-way permit. But in order to access your property, and abandon your septic tank and provide a lateral from the street to your house, we need you all to give us permission. Uh, that, that's just respectful, that's by law. So that, that again, the access agreements are really critical. If you don't mind. Um, a, little, a little more conversation about the access agreements. Um, the access agreement needs to be signed by the owner. Not so. If you, you have an if you own a property and you have someone renting it, they cannot sign for you. We need to legally have the owner of the property sign to give us access and permission to be on your property. As of last week, these are the outstanding ones that we have outstanding access agreements for phase one, and again. If your name's on here, we're gonna we're, we have access agreements. And we've extended the date to 2025. And if you provide an access agreement before, 
just a reminder, if it has expired. So, and if you know someone on this list, and, and I, I suspect, and I don't have all their, I have their addresses, a lot of them aren't here. So if you know them, help them get us access to their property. Right. Again, this is just outstanding access agreements. And another thing on that regard, our schedule, uh, again, this slipped a little bit, but phase one is going to start quarter one, We're still April, well, beginning of quarter, quarter two. And then phase two, we, we have, because of the way FDP allowed us to amend the grant, there is an opportunity for us to change order the work into the contract. And that's going to save us several, several months. That is something that we do have to negotiate with the state. But if we, if we are privileged enough, we will be able to change order the work and then, and then move forward in a more expedited manner. Preliminary phase. Um, sir, this is just to give you all an idea of what the contracts, what construction contracts are going to look like. Sorry, it's, it's a little blurry. Um, they've got phase 1A happening first. So if you're on the south side of the community, you will be provided that sewer at first in phase two going north. Um, and then you've got sorry about that. You got some oh, the on site work down here, but all ending by November. So, you know, 42 homes by November is, is not a bad schedule, it's pretty, pretty robust. Typical. Yes, thank you. Typical construction. Um, I have a septic and sewer project going on in my neighborhood. It's not nearly as expeditious as yours are going to be, because I'm going to manage what yours looks like. Um, mine is, is well, well behind. Um, so I can speak to what you're going to experience. You're going to experience some noise, vibration, and dust. Now, the noise is not going to be something that's um, Unreal. It's just going to be beeping and, and movement and pretty quiet stuff, but but still some noise. Uh, typical work hours are going to be seven to six. Basically, work hours are Sunday. I'm um, sorry, sun up, sundown. Um, traffic delays. The, the really awesome thing about your community is that there's several ways to get to the same place. So, so detours will be provided, but um, there'll be road signs and things of that nature, and then uh, parking restrictions. Uh, just, you know, no, no parking within our work zone. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is I, I have a septic and sewer project that's going on right now, and there are plenty of people who are walking through the construction site. And from a safety perspective, you know, if you can police yourself and talk to your neighbor and, and, and just help us keep you safe, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, equipment storage, the, the contractors always already found a, a site to store their material. They're going to be up a little bit. Um, safe work site, uh, you know, again, please keep clear of all our construction activities, specifically on our, our excavators, because they can't see you when they're, when they're flipping around. Um, keep children and pets out of the construction area. Uh, my guy Gary is going to be here. He's not here right now, <laughs> but he's going to be on, on the site and he's going to help manage um, traffic, um, traffic from a vehicular traffic, from, uh, pedestrian traffic as well. And then I uh, just wanted to point out that because of the grant situation, which is a great situation to be in, there may be a little bit of lag in construction. Again, we just have to negotiate with the state what that's going to look like. Here's some pictures of my neighborhood. Specifically, that's my yard. Uh, and that thing killed my grass. So, so, um, so here's, here's, you know, you're going to see those detour signs like I spoke about. You're going to see manholes laid out. You're going to see pipe laid out. Now, 
It's only be laid out in the right of way. So it's not going to be really in your yard. It's going to be in the right of way. Um, and then trench boxes. You're going to see trench boxes. Um, that, that's just a, a, a steel box so they can be safe. Um, and then at the end of the day, here's, here's an important one. At the end of the day, they're going to backfill. So you should have no open excavations overnight. So, so it can be safe to walk through the site overnight. Not that I would encourage that. But um, you, and you can drive past it. And here's another really important part. You're going to have your primary utilities and facilities provided. So your mail will always come. Your trash will, sorry, you all don't have trash yet. You don't have mail. So it's, no, we have mail. We have mail. Okay, you have mail. That's awesome. So your, your mail will come, firefighters will come, ambulance will have access. At all times, you will have the primary emergency access. So um, I appreciate you all coming. I hope you appreciate barbecue. Uh, we all appreciate you being in the pews, listening to what we have to say, and your interest in the project because this is this is an amazing project. Actually, I'm very passionate about it. Um, what one moment? Just one moment. Um, I'm very passionate about this project. I grew up without utilities, so to be able to bring a community utilities that's near and dear. So I'm going to open it up for questions. Yes, ma'am. When you say decommission, are they going to remove them, or what do they do with those? So, it did, first of all, your community um, has several types of septic tanks. Right. Some of them are drums, 55-gallon drums. Some of them are concrete. Generally, what we're going to do is punch a hole through the top and fill it full of sand. So we're not actually pulling out your yard. We're, 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 and, and what you want to do is you want to make sure you fill it because if you don't and it's old, it may cave in at some point. Right. Other questions? Come on, Ms. Red, you got something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what we need to impress to the people is that there are no liens on their home uh, property and that this is all free money and like you said with the access agreements, they need to make sure. And when you do that, please make a copy because they do get this plate between you and uh, Mr. Risa. And, and, and send it to me. Send it to our address, which if you need some more, I can send it out and we're going to have some today. But send it care of me so I get it. Because sometimes, like Ms. Red said, it does get lost. But I do want to take a second to talk about liens on your property. So again, this is this is all state money. You you have no commitment other than the access agreements. So there's no lien on your property. There's no tax increase and things like that. This is all something that's a privilege to your community. It's, it's well overdue. Yes, ma'am. If it's not, if um, um, if they don't get it done, within a certain period of time. I know the answer to it, but I'm just asking. Yes, ma'am. If they don't get this done while the project is going on, are they going to have to pay later? That's awesome. I, I appreciate you asking that. So, so the way the state works is that once you have sewer, central sewer installed in your neighborhood, you have 365 days by state statute to connect. If you don't take advantage of what we have and what we're offering you, you will have to connect at your own cost. And those costs are not light. It depends on how far back your house is, but we're talking on average five grand. So so I really encourage you all to sign the access agreements. Yes, ma'am. And um, on the vacant properties that's oh. vacant, and but they've signed the agreement for you to connect, they are gonna put the pipe so they'll be able to connect if they decide to what we're going to do on the vacant properties, we're going to put a stub out. So if they're vacant, they don't have a septic tank right now. So we're going to put a stub out, and, and then at their cost, they'll have to connect. But we're bringing it to the edge of their property. So their cost will be fairly minimal. Come on, somebody's got some more questions. How about you guys? Little young ones. 
Yes, ma'am, I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, I just wanted to explain that it is not to our best benefit to give permission to access right at this time. So because they have already, the time has expired, and now we have to re give them re-permission, you know, permission again, I would really research this thoroughly and look at it very carefully because I, it's just my opinion, you don't have to believe me, but I don't think it's to our best benefit. And the cost to, you know, if you decide 10 years later to, it's not even going to be there. So I've done my research, you don't have to believe me, but I don't think this is a good idea at all. Okay? So I have plenty of business cards, everyone. Oh, you can come talk to me too. I'm over, like, right next to the 900 Club. So. My name is Grace. Call me. Talk my name is me Grace. Me. I have a question for you. Sure. Why do you feel it's not your best interest? It's, it's not to our best interest yet. This is not the right time to have this upheaval. We need to wait a little bit longer, and there's going to be much more benefit for us in the future because this place, they've promised to do this for so long, and they don't. And when they start to do something, they don't finish it. So soon it's going to be much better. Like. Let's just say 2024, it would be much better for them to start this project. And then we can look and see and do our research, and we'll see why it was better to wait. So, like I said, you don't have we to. Can have a meeting. We can have a meeting. They're throwing this on us right now. I, I didn't know anything about this. It's not the time to do it. So what, what we're just a little bit that later, that like maybe a year, facts. we need to wait. We'll, we'll but, you're, you're stating it, but you're not yeah. presenting us with the facts. Why? I facts? just learned about this yesterday. But you just moved in the neighborhood. And you have, you have people right. that's been here. It's been since July. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to. Uh, no. no. I, you, you don't have to believe me. You don't no, have to say I'm anything. Saying, I just, just, just want to say wait. People. Just wait. That's all. So, you guys so, want to give permission? That's up to you. I'm not going to stop you, and I'm still going to love you, but I just want us to understand this is just right now our first meeting about this. So let's just wait. Let's just diffuse the situation just a moment. Take a breath. Okay? So I have the start pictures, there's, there's my email address. I'll put you in contact with our legal folks and your two facility lawyers to help, to help clarify some things um, and to, to be clear on the future phases. So phase one has got to be completed. It has a substantial completion date of November to this year. So phase one, those outstanding agreements, we need them. They're timely. Future phases, you can wait a little bit. If you, if you want to think about it, if you want to talk to our legal, if you want to consider options, um, there is some time on the future phases. So if you're on the north side of the community, uh, there's some time. But, but again, we can put you in contact with our legal department who might have a better way of communicating it to you. Or at least a different way that, that speaks to what you're asking. Yes, ma'am. So um, I hear what you're saying about the roads, okay? So these roads have not been paid for years. And, you know, private, private people have put some money into it and then thinking they're doing a great job. I mean, it's disgusting, these roads. And when it rains, it's horrible. So now you're going to come in here and you're going to do this and everything's going to be in disarray. And then you're just going to come back and we're going to wait for the county. You're going to leave the dirt roads. You're going to pay the ones for paid. We don't know when the county's going to come in and pave the roads. So like, what's, what's, is that in writing? That is in writing. It is. I, in writing to what? Uh, a time frame? We, we it's can, in writing, but not the date of when they're going to pave the roads. It's not, but, but in concert with them. This, this is it's something not. that we, we as a general utility, has worked with the county. Um, we've worked with them to ask for ARPA money. We've asked for, um, oh, you, you, saw, you, you saw your stormwater system get pretty, Pretty cleaned up, right? I think they folks saw that stormwater system and then get cleaned up. Um, some trees were trimmed. These are these are all things that we're working with the county to encourage. Um, we, we have no direct influence on them, but the commitment has been made in front of 
you all at the last meeting, some of the, some of the folks were present. Oh, what was that? I'm sorry. When was uh, uh, around. January. 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 Yeah, late, late January. Yeah, late January. Yeah, late January. Oh, the, the uh, they had one before then. What were you all? Yeah, yeah and Ms. Bryant, your commissioner, committed to bringing in roads. Let me add a little something to what she's saying. Yes, ma'am. The people here in Chatland, we are used to, because hey, this is a majority hey. of, of, because we are black or a uh, community, we're used to all that. See, we don't get like y'all get. We have to get, we have to beg for every crumb. Oh, get we get a crumb. Okay, now we're used to accepting our crumbs. When we get our crumbs, we look for the next crumb. So if we throw this crumb back, then guess what? We get nothing. We get nothing. So I understand what y'all are coming from. You can't change Y'all come from prison. No, you can't. If you don't mind, if you don't mind, um, again, this is a community meeting, so we, we need to keep it just a little less heated. That'd be awesome. It's not heated. I'm not trying to make it. 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 That's a very good point. The point, I'm, in my opinion, is yes, we need to make them do a whole lot more than crumbs. But also, wait, because not all of us have discussed this properly yet. So there's a, there's a, there's a component of this. Well, we've been waiting for years. Yes, ma'am, I, I understand. Um, there's a component of this that's, that's important. So in, in some communities, yes, ma'am, just one moment. When, when you get a sewer, in some communities, you get an assessment. You're not getting an assessment. When you get a road, you get assessed. But you're not getting assessed. So, so what I'm saying is this is long overdue. This is an equity justice project. This is what you have deserved, and this is what's going to happen. And I can tell you right now, you probably ne never met a fierce person like me. Because I'm going to, I'm going to do my part for the sewer, and Will's going to do his part, and Gary's going to do his part, and I'm going to drive the train like you, like any conductor you've ever seen. <laughs> yes, ma'am. In the back. Oh, yes, yes. I just wanted to ask if you're on this project, what yes. other counties in Florida have you always seen? Yes, ma'am. Great question. To go on and read what has taken place so far with those particular counties. Yes, ma'am. I, I have a project in Amelia Island that uh, called American Beach. Now, they have, their, their part of the septic sewer only comes to the edge of their, their property. Now, I have submitted for an extra grant to bring that sewer to their house in abandoned septic tanks of your gut, your view. Because they, they're not in an environmentally sensitive area like you are. So, so you got more funding. They have less funding, but that doesn't mean we're not seeking additional funding. Because I will tell you that that community is of similar source, um, similar background. I have another septic to sewer in Rainbow, Rio Vista. Um, and, and between the jobs that I have, just associated with septic to sewer, we're talking on the order of 30 million. Okay. How long has those projects taken from the start? From start? Uh, Rio Vista started American Beach up in Amelia Island. Uh, the funding started in 2020. Well, I started on this project probably five years ago, and uh, you know, get the funding. Um, and it, just by the way, I, I'd like to add something um, that's very valid to this project. Um, you know, when I was debating with the state on the grant funding, um, nobody in history that I know of with Springs funding um, received a 100% grant uh, for a septic to sewer project. Um, they told me I couldn't do it. I've been told things, well, you know, why are you doing this for this community? Well, it was already laid out. You know, I'm not the one that started it. You know, the city did <coughs> promises many years ago. And and I carried on with it, but um, okay. I traveled to Tallahassee many times and 
and talked to officials and there was really nothing in the laws that said that they would have paid for everything, including impact fees. It's unheard of. Usually you get assessed. We've done septic to sewer projects in South Florida that you know people got assessed twenty thousand dollars. You know, it, it, it's terrible, you know, to me. So, you know, uh, again, I fall to you know make this project a zero out of prop, uh, out of pocket project, and you're not going to find a better deal. You know, we're trying to protect this the springs too, but I'm very passionate about it too. You know, nobody in my organization ever asked me to do this. I did this on my own time. This is my part-time job. It's not my everyday job. I'm operations manager for the whole state of Florida and deal with about 100 utilities across Florida. So, uh, but anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there as far as the cost. And, and I don't know why, you know, anybody would want to do it. There's nothing negative. Nobody, I understand the feeling of all, oh, you know, they're going to mess us over and, you know, I think the city had promised y'all a lot of things way back. You know, I, I met with the county commissioner for the last two years, the county manager, talked about roads, and we finally came to a conclusion where, you know, they're also going to replace the roads and put new roads in. So we fought tirelessly for this project for the community and the Rainbow River. And, uh, and I'm just happy as that to bring the project to you. And we thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yes, sir. One final thing this moment. I lived in Lady Lake and I had a septic tank in town. And it came through our town, tore up the back road, put in sewer, hooked up my house, and I was ecstatic because I had to repair the septic tank. I had to fix the drain problems. And they came through and did it for nothing. Next thing I know, I'm hooked up and I don't have a problem anymore. And who are you, sir? Why are you here? I'm sorry. So, so who is he? John Morrell. Is he here? Oh, he, he's the regional. Operation. Can you answer for me, please? I apologize. I, the question is, <laughs> who are you and, why, and do you uh, live here? My name is John Morrell. Mm -hmm. I'm the regional operations manager for eight counties, mm -hmm. including Glen Ellen and the, the Rainbow River area. So you're part of the project and that's why you're here? Yes, exactly. Okay. okay. So Lady Lake is not part of... No, that was a personal experience. Yeah, okay. I was glad to get off that mm -hmm. subject tank. It wasn't a problem. Okay. Anymore. Yes, ma'am. What is your speculative completion date for the whole sewage system? So that's going to stretch a little bit. end of the line. So, so I, Boom. I don't really For just the sewer, not mm -hmm. has anything to do with paving, but just the sewer itself. Mm -hmm. From, mm -hmm. from so, the front so, of the neighborhood, the 82 houses. Yes, ma'am. Do you uh, have a completion date set in stone? Not set in stone, but here's why. Okay, because you're going to run into things along the way, correct? Well, we have to negotiate with the state on how we're going to do the future phases. So if they let us change order it in, it can happen fairly quickly. Okay, but why would you have to negotiate with them? You don't have somebody that would just come in and do it, or how does that work? It, it's a little, it, it's a little complicated, Sorry. but FDEP has approved us, the, the, the Department of Environmental Protection. Okay. But from a legal perspective, you have to be cautious. So, so we have a $2.5 million job. Right. And we're talking about change ordering 7.5. Okay. From a competitive law, that is something we're going to have to negotiate. So, so because I'm change ordering, and I'm hoping to change order in three times the original contract. So, so that that's a legal hurdle I have to overcome. We okay. have to overcome. Okay. The reason why I ask that, and I'm sorry, y'all. I'm Sharice McKeever. I live in the neighborhood, and I grew up in this town um, my whole life. So. The reason why I ask that is because of the state working on the State Road 40. Okay. You see they haven't completed that yet, and that was supposed to be done how many years ago? I don't know that. Okay, okay. we're going to go there. <laughs> That's why I'm asking yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. We're good? Yeah. The state can't be trusted either. Well, yeah, but, uh, okay. All right. I'm hoping we get the barbecue soon. I am. I know. If you don't mind, can I get yeah. her? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. All right. Yeah, it's kind of hard for me to trust you because I have a home here. 
I have a home here and that I had some plum plumbing problems with. And I got somebody to fix it, but nobody had been staying in the home. And someone ran over the water thing. And I have talked to your company four times. And they keep saying they haven't worked for it. It's been six months. And no one has been out to fix it yet. I'll see you at the barbecue. Okay. Get some of when you started this project with us, or when you all started this project with us, and uh, there were some doubts, and some that was, wasn't at the first meeting, the second meeting, and then we came to, then um, we had another meeting, and people had questions, and even those that was not there, mm -hmm. um, you had all the material, you presented, a great, um, a great presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, the information was out there, mm -hmm. and it's not like some uh, people was being excluded to include you all. It's not like, and we're trying to do this meeting in love, so because this is a community gathering, and the whole purpose for this is to make sure nothing is, um, make sure anything is excluded <laughs> for anyone that you have. Uh, um, you can obtain this information if you wasn't at any of the other meetings and you've given your information, but we don't want to take the, uh, this, this meeting and turn it into a harsh uh, meeting and make everything um, seem like everybody's trying to hide something. Right. What you've been up front with, and like you said, the people here, it's kind of hard to entrust because so many things have been done and hasn't fallen through, but so far, you all have came out here, did this meeting, community come together, community is um, trying to build together and watch this project go through because, like someone said, it's hard when you're getting crumbs and then finally you got a whole cake to eat and you have to take that cake and see if you're gonna cut it uh, correctly amongst the people. My thing is this, look, if you got questions and, and stuff, you got information is there, and if you feel like something is being shortcut, your number is up there, please take it and give a call, and if any of us can answer something, because we're not trying to have harshness within people in the community. We try to welcome you. You're here in the community now, and we want to welcome you. I appreciate that. So what we're going to do is, because we have a few outside, I'm going to give it another five minutes. And then we're going to dismiss and any other question that you have. I'm making a joke, but it seems like you can't just find out right? So, so we're outside. Come, come find me and ask a question. I mean, if you need me to have a question and answer with multiple people, that's fine too. If you need me to send you an email, uh, Miss Red knows I, I'll text you in a heartbeat if I have your number. So, any more questions for the moment before we go out and have some barbecue? Yes, sir. I don't have now a question. But what I have is a statement. Yes, sir. I have a statement to the community. I was born right around the corner, right here in Chetmont. Right. We have applied for access to the city of Dunelum so many times. We haven't even much got an invite to come into the city. The city limits go all around this place itself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when he wants to talk a money deal. Mm -hmm. I to what I am trying to say is, when an opportunity like this comes, yes, we have to put our heart into it and mm -hmm. try to make it work. Mm -hmm. Because we are not getting nothing mm -hmm. from nobody except what we get from grants and stuff like this that is being issued to us. Mm -hmm. That is all we are saying, if you, you got to wisen up. The city of Donnell would not give you none of this stuff. They would not give it to you. They would even just set you into the city limits. Mm -hmm. Now, I was born right around y'all when they got that shopping center. <laughs> I'm telling you. And that was 67 years ago. All right. And what All have they gave right. this community in 67 years? No, no. All right. <laughs> So to sum it up, we, just, we really appreciate you all taking the opportunity to go about your business to make this happen for us. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.
we got about three minutes left, and then we're going to have some barbecue that our awesome customer service folks lined up for us. Any, any, any else burning issues or just light issues? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> when um, the project is completed, yes, and will the county or the city be over the funding? Uh, you know, we have to pay the bill to you don't know? No, ma'am. No, I know. Oh, um, it? it would be a, our our company, our, we're a governmental company, so the sewer oh, would be just okay. like the water. Okay. 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 One last comment. I want to thank everybody for being here today. And my job is to watch over this project. And Miss Red knows me, Miss Williams knows me, uh, Gary and I, we've been in here, we we had a hydrant knocked down. Somebody's like, where's our hydrant? It's like, you don't have one. She was I did. That hydrant was put back two days later. So I'm here to help. If this construction job is going to get rocky, it's going to get dusty, it's going to get aggravating, yes. and we're going to do everything we can to notify each street where they're going to be, when they're going to be there. But there's going to be moments of miscommunication, or but we're not trying to infringe on anybody. And if anybody has a complaint or an issue, Ms. Red, Ms. Williams, I'll give you my card. I'm here. I'll take your call. I answer my phone. And we'll get out here and get it straightened out. But please be patient with this project because it is going to be a it's going to be a mess for a little bit. But when it's done, it's going to be awesome. So, so John, I appreciate that. Because as you close, I want to say this. There, there's me, it's a fierce force. But there's an amazing team of people that are my team. So you'll see John. Gary's going to be your, your front line guy. He's a veteran. So Ms. Reed, Ms. Red, you'll appreciate that. I appreciate yes, that. Hopefully everyone else will appreciate that. that. <laughs> I outrank it, but we talked about that. Yes, <laughs> I just like to say that while the construction is going on, I will be floating around daily on job sites. And if you have any concerns about anything, you just flag me down, and I'll, I'll do what I can to try to remedy this. I just have one question. I'm coming in on the tail end. Are there any job opportunities for the community in terms of construction that they could do? I'll say no, but this uh, What I would do is that so CIC, your, your contractor. When they get moving out here, or you can even call them up. Um, their project manager is uh, Chelsea. Um, I'll just if you can send me an email and I can share, share it. Okay. Because uh, for them, if there's an opportunity to keep someone right here, that's going to save them money. I know that's right. So, they're out so, of Ocala, so they're a Marion County operation. Oh, okay. yeah. to, to get on with them. Okay. Stay on with it. If you give that information to Ms. Red, I'm sure she, she will. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry i am Thank you for being patient while the project evolved. And I thank my team. And um, if you have any more questions, we'll meet outside. But let's go have some barbecue. Yay! All right, let us give them another round of applause. get to or the best way to get to the fellowship hall it's probably be easier for everyone to exit out of this door go to the right and come back in on this side to go in to um, to get the good food um, uh, there is an area set up outside for us to eat um, but if you think it's too warm out there you're welcome to sit on the inside here and eat um, outside of that um, once again we're grateful for everyone that came out uh, we just have to realize that in most cases sometimes growth is painful so we have to go through some things to get some things. So we're, we're just grateful for that. Uh, let us uh, bow our heads just for a brief prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Uh, just for you shining your light upon us, we thank you for your grace, which uh, is going to allow this uh, community of progress in so many ways. 
uh, we ask now that you'll just continue to unite us and keep us in your health and care. Uh, we ask a special blessing to be upon this food that has been prepared, and we pray for this fellowship and unity as we go out and enjoy this, this wonderful day that God has blessed us with. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.